All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakako Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures and salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And this is going to be a quick lesson uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And uh, I'm going to entitle it Being Emotional in This Truth Makes It Hard for You to Take Rebuke. All right. Being emotional in this truth makes it hard for you to sit down, listen and think about the reproof you're being uh, that's being presented to you. And this is not to anybody in specific. It's just a mindset that we have to uh, stay away from, you know, because oftentimes, you know, um, the brother will get reproved or rebuked or, uh, you know, criticized, you know, corrective criticism and or construction, constructive criticism, as they say in the world. And um, he'll always have a, a but or a rebuttal, and it becomes a debate. And that's really because that brother is in his, and he is being emotional. Okay, he's being emotional. All right. And if you get to the point where you always have a rebuttal for your reproof, that shows that you can't be you can't be repute, reproved. You can't be corrected. You see, and then that. That actually, that ultimately, you know, ultimately breeds um, contempt to the point where nobody really wants to correct you, and that's the Lord failing to cease to correct you. That's not the man. All right, that's the Lord. All right, ceasing to uh, give you correction. Why? Because you, uh, you would always get into an emotional state of mind when you're being reproved, and it's nothing but stuff to help you. That's all it is, man. That's and this to myself first and foremost. That's why when you get rebuked. All right, when you get reproved, uh, you just take it. You know, you take it, sit back, and um, it might hurt at the at the end, at the beginning. All right, you might be a little bit emotional, but the best thing in that position, the best thing you do in that position is kind. Take it. You think about it later, then, because the Lord's gonna give you the understanding and reveal it to you anyway, as the Scripture says. Right, but being emotional in this truth, it's, it, it makes it hard for people to rebuke you, you know, because you always have some rebuttal, you always have something to say, and that's and it's, and it's, and it's, that's not good for your uh, your growth because you're not gonna ever grow because you feel as though your way is right, you know. And this to myself first and foremost, you know, I, that's why I'm uh, doing the lesson. I don't want to be <laughs> caught in that type of spirit because then you can't be you can't be reproved, which means. You can't be corrected And it says the Lord Who the Lord loveth He correcteth If you're not being corrected Then that's not a good sign Alright uh, This is uh, Proverbs chapter 9 verse 7 He that reproveth a scorner Getteth to himself shame Alright So when a man tries to reprove you Alright And you're scornful at it You don't want to listen Your idea Or what you're doing You still think you're right Alright Or you're not seeing And really listening To what's being said You're giving a Um you know, a fake con or a con just to get out of the situation, that's showing you that you're being emotional and you that you cannot take the rebuke or the correction. Now, the correction or the rebuke might come in a, a subtle way. It might come in a harsh way. All of it, you have to take it, take it to my, and both ways, even if it's subtle, it's going to, uh, you know, it might, you know, might hurt. <laughs> but as the scripture says, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit. Why? Because you sit, sit back, you take it in, and you might not get it in that time, in that certain uh, specific time frame, but when you go home and you go sit down or you go, you know, about your day, the Lord will put it in your spirit. You'll be like, oh, damn, now I see, you know, and me and uh, a couple brothers was talking about that. So that's why when you are reproved, all right, you cannot be emotional, man, because it makes it hard for people to actually reprove or rebuke or correct you, man, to the point where if you continue on that path, all right, the Lord will stop correcting you in general, right? Showing you that you're just being, you're not listening, you're not, you're being emotional, and okay, go do what you're gonna do and do your own, do what you're gonna do. Like LD Ashwamba uh, stated in a video he did, he said, Jake's gonna do what they're gonna do. All right? So, Proverbs 9 and 7, he that reproveth a scorner giveth, giveth to himself shame. That's a shameful thing. It's a shame when somebody tries to rebuke you. And you're not hearing what is being said. You're not really taking into consideration what's being said. All right. It's always a rebuttal. It's always some back talk. You know, <laughs> that means you're not taking the correction. You're not trying to understand why he's correcting you. 
and how you can fix it. That's why the best uh, best action in that in that situation would be to just say con and actually go back, sit down and listen and, and try to understand and consider what has been taught or what has been said to you. Proverbs 15 and 12, a scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. You see? So you you can't get in that spirit of, man, this brother always, he all, you're in your mind, you scoffing, man, he always trying to say something about me. He always doing something, you know. And to be honest, yeah, you're in the flesh. It's gonna it's gonna offend you, but it's to it's to it's offending you, unto a godly sorrow, unto um, so that you can yield peaceable fruit, you know. So you know we can't be in that spirit of uh, not being able to take the rebuke or correction or even consider listening to the things being said because of our emotions, and we feel as though we're right. You know, and that's a lot of the time. That's a lot of the reasons why you you, uh, you don't grow as you should. You know, you grow through uh, constructive criticism or reproof or rebuke. You know, that way you get the you get the understanding, you get corrected. And um, the scripture says, "Let the righteous smite me." So, men in this truth, if they um. And even if the and even if the even if the, it's not something you're doing, and they say it, still take it into consideration, because now you have more knowledge of of what not to do. You know, a brother might rebuke you, rebuke you, or correct you on something. And you you're not really, you know, you're not really completely going off, but it's for future reference so that you really think about that in uh in different situations, and you don't do these things. You might not be doing them, but just why? That's why. That's where. Same kind comes into place So then now you have more knowledge And understanding of okay now okay I just understood this again now I'm not going to really do this Alright So we can't be Emotional Alright when um Taking rebuke man Alright because that makes it hard for the person rebuking you To rebuke you and actually get you to Understand and consider what he uh, what, what he's saying and presenting to you Alright this is Proverbs 13 and 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction. And we're all getting better at this. You know, we're all getting more and more out of our feelings and emotions and hearing correction, which is really directions, all right, and criticism to help what? Help us in our walk. All right. And it comes from, it can come from, you can be an older brother, it can come from a younger brother. You can be a younger brother, and most of the time it comes from an older brother. Vice versa. All right. Ultimately, it's all from the Lord, you know. It's all from the Lord. That's why we have to. We can't be emotional when uh, receiving uh, correction or um, reproof. You know, and this is a. Uh, this is just to nobody in specific. You know, it's really through the Spirit. So myself, first and foremost, of course. And um, yeah, man, that's how you receive the correction, and that's how you become wise. All right, Proverbs thirteen and one: A wise son heareth his father's instruction. All right, the father's instruction, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai's instruction comes from forth through his men. Therefore, what? You re you're receiving you, you're receiving the instruction from your father, which makes you a wise son. No matter if you it hurts your feelings, man, or your emotions. It might just say kind, cool off, think about it, and the Lord will give you understanding as to why it was said. If you don't receive it right there in that moment. You see, everything is uh, uh, for correction and nothing is to hurt anyone. Everything is to improve. All right. And keep everyone uh, in, in, in the right spirit, in the right spirit in his walk. You know, and that's uh, that's what the rebuke and the reproof is for. All right. This is Proverbs 19 and 25. It says, smite a scorner and the simple will beware and reprove one that hath understanding how do you how do you get into the mindset of uh, a understanding man all right you take rebuke this is a man that takes correction this is a man that really uh, sits down and uh, tries to understand what's being said to him and considers it all right you can't do that if you're being emotional and it and once again it makes it hard for people to rebuke you and it's irritating to rebuke someone that always has a rebuttal 
know, that's why we, that's why the best option is to say con. You see? Proverbs 19 and uh, 25. Smite a scorner and a simple will be be beware and reprove one that hath understanding and he will understand knowledge. All right. That's the whole goal of when you get reproved, you, your whole goal is to get understanding of what you're going off on. Of. All right. And then once you utilize and consider what's being said to you and you and, and fix it, you then understand knowledge. And that's why the reproof and the rebuke and the correction comes comes into uh, comes into play. And you can only do that by really taking heed uh, to what's being said. All right. When you're corrected or rebuked, etc. All right. So once again, you can't be emotional. All right. When being rebuked, because it makes it hard for people to rebuke you. Or correct you on anything, man. All right, so I'm not gonna make it too long. Lord willing, us edify and call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures and citations to Akim across the world, pushing his word and truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom and a Bob Ball.